All right, how's it going everyone? It's a nice uh, early afternoon and we're back here checking out a, uh, a mine dump and an adit uh, that has a second entrance, uh, but it's collapsed and uh, the open cut around it. So what you have here is a malachite stained rock and uh, we're gonna see what's inside it, and then we're gonna go take a look at the mine dumps, and then head up into the uh, small little attic there. Out of that entire piece, we got one weekly mineralized sample. Uh, there's lots of these around, so we're not even gonna take it. So here's the first sample from the mine dump: cocopyrite with uh, minor amounts of bornite. So we're going to send this one in for a analysis, ICP, and fire assay. And uh, we're going to stop looking around for the mine dump for now. We're going to head up and uh, go check out the mine. Okay, so here's a piece of ore we found on the way up on the mine dump. You can see all the calcopyrite in there all throughout. We're going to catalog these samples. Another one here from the mine dump. So we're up at the uh, added here. This is an open cut here and uh, it's collapsed and uh, has fallen in. So you can't get in this way. So the second entrance is over there, which you can get in. It's just a little sketchy, so we'll have to be careful. So you can see you have some nice calcite veins there. This uh, was a second entrance, but uh, I don't think I'll fit in there now. So, we'll try and uh, get in through here, go in, take a look, see if we can get past the uh, collapse. A little bit of a shaft going down in there until you hit the uh, at it. You can see another open cut up here. Or lots of malachite hazardite standing underneath there. So we're down in the shaft a little. Uh, you gotta sneak through here and it opens up into a little room. We're gonna pull a sample off the wall. The collapse looks like it's a little worse than we thought. You can see there's gonna be about uh, five, six tons worth of stuff that we gotta clear out to be able to get by. It's reportedly about 40 feet long um, and there's still ore in there. So we wanted to get there, but I don't think we're going to. Um, we'll just take a quick look past. So as you can see, it came from that little hole where my other prospecting partner is. Got this nice little tiny room here. For here, you just got some random rocks. Some malachite staining right there. And right there. As you can see, it's really nice looking. A couple pieces of wood. Some more pieces of wood. And this is our opportunity right over here. So this is sloughed down, lots of rock, as you can tell. There's the malachite staining just right up in there. And you can really just see it all along there. Right over here is where we want to get to, down in that little tunnel. It's gonna have a glance around it here. Ceiling, still fairly mineralized. The odd mosquito here and there, but we're kind of used to it now. So you can see uh, that's the shovel where my prospecting partner was looking at. You can see all the sloughed uh, material that has to be removed and uh, there's easily several yards if not more to be able to safely get across the other portion of the adit. Uh, you can see right there, I'm going to try and actually get a sample from here. 
as you can see silvery looking metal up there solid mineral that'd be a nice sample to get so uh, we'll take a couple samples from down in here and uh, do what we can and then we'll go check out uh, the open cut above us so uh, right where my prospecting partner is hammering uh, we found a uh, big bleb which uh, appears to be high grade fairly solid mineral so he's hammering a bunch off and we're gonna just scoop a bunch up and send it in for NSA so here's a few of the samples we pulled out of there It's really hard to see the mineral in these because it's they're so dirty. But uh, these are, I'd say 50, 60% mineral. And there you go, you got your malachite azurite staining and nice solid hunk of metal right there. Calcopyrite, a little bit of boronite on there, right there. So, all in all, decent samples. I would say these are going to run about 5% uh, copper and uh, decent silver and a little bit of gold. So we're going to take a look at that quickly and then we'll go and uh, see if we can find a few more samples in the mine dump. So you got a nice amount of uh, malachite staining but you don't have any uh, good mineral that looks like it. We'll hammer a piece off though, just uh, take a look, just to make sure maybe this big one. Alright, so uh, we just hammered this off, a couple huge hunks fell off, about 100 pounds. You got some solid mineral in there, more there, you can see a bunch there. And I know there's a couple pieces on this one too, so we'll take a uh, sample from this. And uh, we'll include that in with our assays. So you got some ore here. Uh, this is almost solid mineral. Hard to tell with the uh, oxidization all over it, but you can see a piece here that we hammered open. I wanted to show you before we actually hammer it even further and destroy it. Found a bunch of solid hunks of metal right there, calcopyrite, and uh, we're going to uh, take a bunch of this with us, catalog a bunch, and send some in for assays, of course. So uh, here's a few of the samples we pulled off. So you can see it's solid mineral. Just solid hunks of uh, calcopyrite. So you can see the fracture all along here. Uh, we were actually going to hammer a bit more of this off, but the whole thing 
is going to fall down if we do that. So we're not. I think we're happy with the samples we got. We have one last uh, sample here from the mine dump. So, that's all the sampling we're doing today. It's uh, late evening now, so we're going to head out and make the journey back down and go home. So, we'll see you all at the next video.